More than 3,000 farmers in Borneo who are victims of insurgency have benefited from interventions by the state government that provides farm implements and cash assistance under the End Care program assisted by the World Bank. According to government, this would help in no small measure towards reviving the agricultural sector in the state. Jefferson the News' Jesse Tafida has details and will return with business news. In Borno State, agriculture contributes up to 65% of the state gross domestic product. And with about 56,000 farmers internally displaced, who will have cultivated 95,000 metric tons of food yearly. The state has lost over 500,000 metric tons of food since 2015. But as peace gradually returns, the state government is rising up to the task of assisting farmers with farming input so as to enable them to go back to their farmlands. Today, the state governor, Baba Ganazilum, is in Benishek headquarters of Kaga local government to distribute farming input to over 3,000 farmers. The governor attributed the deficit in the state agricultural sectors not to only insurgency, but also the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has affected the entire food system. The restriction on movements in that food-related logistic services disrupted entire food supply chains and affected the availability of food, impact on the movement of agricultural level and supply of input caused critical challenges to food production, thus jeopardizing food security for all and hit especially hard the rural farmers. The Borno State government under my leadership sought to collaborate with the World Bank assisted COVID-19 action recovery and economic stimulus program known as NCARES to save our people and help recover from the effects of the pandemic through increasing cash transfers and livelihood support to four and vulnerable households. Most of the agricultural activities were seriously challenged. Your Excellency, thank you for this gesture. Beneficiaries are urged to make use of the seedlings efficiently for a robust agricultural produce. This agricultural support will directly benefit 16,753 farmers and indirectly 2,514,450 across the state. And this, you will agree with me, will in no small measure help recover our people from the shocks of the COVID-19 pandemic to our farmers in the state. Items distributed to the farmers include cow seedlings, links, tractor and cash assistance. Just see Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.